Hello everybody, welcome back to more Europa Universalis 4, as always I'm Oren, and today Spain is carrying us a bit when it comes to France. They are actually have quite a bit of good coverage here. A lot of sieges ticking down, a shitload of units, and I'm very glad they are on my side. Uh, Alec Nyan, how are you doing? You're almost there, Alec Nyan. Almost there. And I want to vassalize this uh, this new guy. Uh, let's see this new guy, Orleans or Orleans. I think this is Orleans, but when it's like this, it's Or Orleans or something. Who knows? Freaking words, man. They're so hard. We're also going to add Newmark into our Wordles and eventually Marenburg, which is going to give us a tremendous amount of overextension and aggressive expansion with 20 with Brandenburg, 15 with the Netherlands, 9 with Savoie, 81 with Hanover. Hanover is going to be less than pleased, but they'll figure it out. Uh, huge amounts of aggressive expansion and overextension in England is what led us to this current war, so we might as well use it as a jumping point for some more. Also, this fleet needs to repair down here. Or here. You know what? How about here? Uh, France is... trying to suck my dick, but that's not going to work. I want a very specific number of things and until France is ready to give them all to me. Also, our, war our manpower is shot. Just realized that. And Hungary, <gasps> Hungary. All right, can I negotiate some shit for Hungary, guys? I think Hungary needs something. Oldenburg to Hanover. Nah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nah. Mm -mm. Not gonna happen. None of these really matter to me at all. Yeah, we'll be fine. Uh, transfer trade power with France at this point might be quite helpful. I believe we share trade power in quite a few zones. I think this might be where transfer trade power is like designed to be a good idea. Yep, this war is won. All we have to do is wait on these guys. I suppose I could try, try an assault. That didn't work out the well last time. We'll let, like, one more siege cycle tick through. We'll let it hit positive, and then we'll try an assault. Because it doesn't even look like walls are breached. Under a blockade. Well, they're definitely under a blockade. Alright, there we go. We hit a flat zero. Let's hit the assault button. And was it a good idea? It was a good idea. Woo! First assault. Oh yeah. Now let's go ahead and add that into my four goals. I'm at 56. And it looks like I could push them even harder. So let's continue to kick the Ottomans out of it. Let's look at these. We get quite a few ill effects, but Hmm. Overall, it's not too bad. And 500 bucks. Now, yeah, we'll help Spain out a little bit more, you know? Ah, we can't do Bjorn. Uh, what if we take away St. Martin and give him Toulouse? What about Bjorn? What about Languedoux? Hmm. Yeah, have St. Martin be happy. And yeah, war over, I think. This overextension is going to be hell on earth. Oh, good God in heaven. Uh, national revolt risk minus three. Thank you, based God. That is going to be necessary. I feel like this was higher a minute ago. Uh, Marenburg. Uh, 
Autumns. Demands have been sent. Austria will cede Stade, Newmark, and Marienburg to Scandinavia. France will give Core St. Martin to Spain. France will annul all treaties with Japan, Korea, and the Ottomans. France will release Orléans as a sovereign state. This peace will cost me a shitload of diplomatic power. As a defendant, defender, I gain quite a bit of prestige and quite a bit of aggressive expansions of penalty. First things first, vassalizing the new guy. And tanking my diplo power even harder. Uh, second thing second, that is pretty cheap. That one is less cheap. And that one is less cheap. Let's go ahead and get some 90 military power. 70 military power. Jesus. 40 military power. Guys, a little bit more central, and a lot of people will enter into military coalitions against us right here. Basically, we pissed we pissed off what parts of Europe we hadn't pissed off yet. That's basically what that was. Yeah, like our coalition against us just got bigger, like a lot. This is the part where our allies need to like us a whole lot. Particular, particularly Savoy. And the Netherlands soon. I do want to finish up with uh, these guys first. Novi Road has entered into a military coalition against us. England, are you in a military coalition? Yeah, you are. Well, a is accepted. It's t the winning team. <laughs> uh, I guess, I mean, we might be the losing team, but probably the winning team. And let's vassalize another one of France's miners. That's always fun. Integration is indeed a slow process. Alright, uh, January 25th, we did get the Alignan right there, so we are slowly spearheading into France. I may actually be able to fabricate a claim on Paris, that wouldn't be too bad. 25th of January, yes, awesome, awesome, cool. France, covert action, fabricate claim. Damn. I can't fabricate a claim on Paris yet. Uh, we will go ahead and do that. And hell, guys. Got a pretty good run of wars there. Newmark. Yeah, we can go ahead and convert Newmark. We're not going to be, uh, coring it just yet. And, oh god. Hmm. Go ahead and get a guy new. Let's get uh, relations improved. And the Netherlands. Brandenburg, how are we doing, man? Uh, we also need to improve relations with Brandenburg. Brandenburg has been a staunch ally recently. Bavaria is in a personal union. And it is not yet time, but it is close to being time to... Uh, Integrating Bavaria, which is going to be very awkward. We're just going to suddenly have territories here. I almost need to gobble up Brandenburg somehow. If I could maybe claim Brandenburg's throne and give me an empire. I mean, uh, yeah, secondary empire. I already have uh, quite a large one. But, you know, you can never have too many. When it comes to Japan, 
uh, our percentage of the trade is still like non-existent. Like my trade power is like so low. I don't understand like I guess it's just they're like uh their protection fleets or something. I don't know why our trade power is so low over here. It might just be because of uh it's so far away. That's also another possibility. I'm not sure how that works. Trade efficiency is quite high. Our tariffs have grown quite a bit. Hmm. I don't know. It's very strange to me. And our manpower is completely shattered. So let's go ahead and spool down military maintenance a peg. God damn it. Some guy left Mexico, so we're going to have to try to remember to put him back after a while. In 175 days. And yeah, just like that, these videos got a whole, le a whole lot less interesting. Yeah. I actually kind of wish I could have gave Spain uh, territory down here. Maybe I should have dragged that out a bit longer. But, I mean, Spain is wel Spain isn't welcome to declare his own personal wars against France in a few years. He, uh, he has to go through Savoy. Savoy kind of has his own thing he's doing. What are we more likely to increase? Military or diplomatic? Uh, probably military. I'll take the admin power. Every piece of admin power goes towards me losing my hundred and something, hundred and seventy-six percent overextension. And that's better. Number should have. Yep. Oh wow, a lot better. And I don't want to spend any more. Demand of unlawful territory from Brandenburg. They demand that the province of Stade be returned to the Holy Roman Empire. Hmm. I don't think I am ever going to be in a position where I'm so afraid of Brandenburg's empire that I decide to give him territory. He needs to learn very quickly who is running the show here. Because I do have half a mind to consume him at my, you know, nearest convenience. I also have a piss load of papal influence just laying around. I guess we'll just crank this guy. He's 44. I mean, Spain... You can't beat Spain at uh, Catholicism late game. That's why most people that aren't Spain switch to something else. But, you know. That guy will probably never make it into the, uh, the Holy See. And I guess we'll take a bit of money. I could build some buildings, but, like, what am I going to do with this? Reduce overextension. What am I going to do with this? Change cultures in uh, England. What am I going to do this? Make military tax. I mean, my power points are effectively spoken for. Uh, this could be a bit better, but I like the diplomatic reputation. I thought it would keep me a bit more immune to people declaring wars on me. I recently found that's not the case, and I'm kind of thinking about making Austria one of my rivals. I'm also a bit unsure about that. Is there any future with me in Austria? We were once, you know, we fought, we had this kind of like cold war where Austria didn't know I existed as Denmark. And I was very, very afraid that they were going to descend on me and take my 
provinces that I had taken from the Hansa. And then me and Austria just kind of became friends, and we were friends for a long, long time. Like, a long, long time. And then, you know, bitch goes crazy. Broke the alliance. Well, I... I do kind of forget how the alliance broke. I think it was just... I don't think it was anything, really. My guy died without ever reaching. Oh, one of Spain's guys died without ever reaching. Um, I'm unsure how the alliance got broken, but... I know it did. And then, yeah, the rest is kind of history. I also can't tell if Ottomans wants to be Russia or Mongolia more. Where does Mongolia start at? Do I know Asian geography enough to make a guess? That is fine. I do not care about a military alliance with Delhi. That does not even remotely appeal to me at all. Uh, I'd like to do Stade next. We are how many months away from that? Two months? Alright. So, China's here. And there's Tibet. And there's Mongolia. Everything else is Russia. Huh. Yeah, I guess they aren't too Mongolia. They just probably have this. Maybe not even that. Austria did leave them uh, the uh, the coalition against me, which is nice. And the fact that their their allies are not too scary is also kind of nice. Makes me want to kill them. But their military is still scary, man. Military is still awfully big. Mine's getting up there. My uh, force limit is, at least. We're at least within spitting distance. Mine is still spread quite far, and I'm way under force limit now. I've lost so many here recently. My navy is still a bit above. But my army force limit is way down. So we can rebuild maybe another 20 in England, another 40 in Europe, and Mexico and Canada haven't showed any signs of revolt. Tell my heir to start worrying. No, eh, it'll be fine. I'm not too worried. Darby has also converted. Or, um, not converted, cord. We have to convert them next. Also, how is the courthouse coming along? We almost have courthouses everywhere over here, which is great. Uh, after our overextension is lifted, we will fill in more courthouses. Almost certainly. I found that is the best way to keep people from revolting. Especially when you, uh, Especially the people that tend to revolt based on the events, like the Americans and the Canadians and the Mexicans and all those bloody colonists. They start to cause you a fair bit of trouble. Oh. We can probably turn the speed up a little bit. Bohemia has claimed the title, title Defender of the Protestant Faith. Let's look at a religious breakdown, actually. Sure. Protestantism is not doing too well, to be perfectly honest. Wow, it's a good time for those guys to be there, I guess. Uh, Orthodox is almost entirely gone. Sunni is as widespread as it always is. Catholic is not doing too bad. Spain really needs to pick up the game down here. Yeah, gain one revolt risk in Zapotec. 
That is what I'm talking about. That is the start of the Mexican Revolution. Yeah, Spain is having quite a bit of problems with the uh, reformed, it looks like. Protestants are doing okay. Most of, uh, well, I guess it's just England who's really Protestant. Let's look over here. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Um, yeah, it's just England, really. Hindus are even getting pushed out in way for the, uh, the, uh, Islamists, which is, uh, pretty accurate <laughs> as to what actually happens. Barry. They're outraged towards me and seeks to cut me down to size. I mean, come on. Aw, oh, General, uh, Hakon died. I really like his rap music, but, you know, shit happens, I guess. I guess he was a... Hmm... National Revolt Risk by 2. I don't enjoy that at all. Uh... Change culture is probably not worth it. The Knights have also insulted us. Screw you, the knights. What do you have besides roads? Nothing. You used to have Dalmatia, but you gave that one away. It's like, what goes on? I'm also realizing just now that I didn't save it after the last episode. So I'm going to end this episode right now and save it. Uh, I don't know how long this episode was. I don't really care. I know I don't want it to crash. Ruin my day. Because that would ruin my day. Ooh, shit, look at all these. Garbage, garbage. National tax and missionary strength. Hell yeah. National revolt. Missionary strength tolerance heretics. Bleh. I'm fine. I'll pass. Uh, another good one would be the tolerance of the true faith. Is not bad. Uh... Yeah, I'd like to put one more into here. And then... Hmm... More army mor morale, or just more military tech? Probably just more military tech, I think, for the moment. And then we will probably fill out quality before... Ah, uh, uh, defense is so good. But, you know, that discipline pretty important. I, I seen that France had it, at least. Uh, their discipline was so high. Uh, no. <laughs> Goodness. I actually don't know where all their, uh, discipline came from. Oh, French ambitions, plus ten down there. At the very bottom. I suppose that has a, uh, part to play. But yes, I am done with this video, and I think I'm actually just gonna go record some Starbound. Or maybe some Crusader Kings. I'm unsure. But thank you guys as always for watching. And see you next time.